like five or ten minutes before in the lab. And yeah, then, perfect. And then go down. So it's from four to five. I'm going to be making this for dinner today. It's chewy noodle with spicy sauce. So all I need to do is just boil the noodles and then this like spicy sauce comes separate. And for vegetables, I have cucumber and some kale. And on the sides, I'm also going to heat some of this up. So this is the ready-made um, sort of semi-spicy sauce. And here are the noodles, there are like three portions, so I'm just going to be using one for today. I wanted to try making this myself because I don't think it's actually that difficult. I think it's just like flour, spring onions, and like some seafood. But knowing me, I've just been like getting really lazy to like full-on cook meals from scratch or like do any sort of baking so this is close enough to cooking <laughs> so good plan for today is to head to the library to basically look up some of my protocols, finalize that, and also wait around just in case my supervisor is available. Because at the moment, it was really difficult to find someone who had the time to supervise some of the bacteria work that I needed to do for this week. I just really hope that she's free either today or tomorrow so I can get things running. So yeah, now I'll just do what I can to maybe write up some of the methods section in my dissertation and also plan some of my experiments for the coming two to three weeks.
heading into labs to get a few experiments done. I finally found a supervisor who had some time to help me out. And for lunch, I am meeting a friend who I haven't seen in a really long time and she just got out of quarantine. So I'm really excited for today. So before I can start any experiment, I need to warm up some media. So here's just a water bath and there I have some media, FBS and some penicillin and streptomycin. These need to be warmed up before being combined to each other to create a sort of complete growth medium. And then I'm able to culture my cells. And normally I culture my cells in this um, tissue culture hood. And then the cells are put into the incubator over there to just grow, basically. <laughs> I did some bacteria work earlier this morning, so I grew up some bacteria in liquid culture and now I'm just keeping some as glycerol stalks to use for future use. And here are some of my mini prep samples. That so mini prep basically extracts plasmid DNA from your bacteria and here's the plasmid DNA that I'll be using for my future experiments. <laughs> 